What's up everybody, it's Loza, and today we're looking at the deck that went first place at a locals. It is 60 card, going second, Dark Magician. And man, does it have some spice and some engines that we all know and love. So before we get into the deck, and yes, this deck profile is going to be shown to us through binders first, because that is how I was shown originally, and then I'll have a nice graphic of it at the end, but let's go through it as a binder first, because it really shows off the engines, and I think Derek's done a wonderful job of displaying it all. Speaking of Derek, here is the man himself, the absolute Yuna, who has has good taste in Pokemon Real, it's quite goaded. He versed the Gotti Fish deck, then he versed Kai, some sort of Kaiju deck, and then he versed Voiceless Voice in the finals, in which he won. He has a lot more notes that I will read, but I'll read them once we get to the end of the profile. Let's get into the card by card. You got one Dark Magician, two Dark Magicians, three a Dark Magician girl. So three bricks off the bat, there will be more later, let me tell you that. We've also got Dark Magic Attack, so speaking of a brick, yeah, you could say this is definitely one. But in 60 cards, it does make this less likely to be seen and more accessible as like a toolbox engine. What's interesting here is two Soul Servant yet playing the two bricks, but um, yeah, that seems to have worked out pretty well for him. He's got the one Magician's Rod, one Circle, and one Eternal Soul, so a pretty tactical Dark Magician engine. He might have seen the one Rod ratio before in a build similar to uh, a Loza build, and I wonder why the one rod is there. Some of you might figure it out in the chat, but um, we'll skip ahead soon and find out. But have your guess as to why there's one rod. Normally means there's another engine or another normal summon in the deck. So take your guesses as to what it is. Triple Illusion of Chaos and Triple Magician Souls. Triple Prepper, you might think, wow, for someone who's gone one rod and like two souls over, and clearly a, a, a kind of a small DM engine on page left, page right is filled with like, wow, I really want DM cards. Well, more specifically, this deck really wants Magician Souls. So there's nine copies of Magician Souls. Well, because it's 60 cards, you can kind of get away with it as well. But let's move on and see what's next. We have the addition of the Branded and the Red Eyes engine. Yes, uh, Derek has also said this Wyvern should be changed to a Red Eyes Media Dragon as of now. But um, at the time, he played Wyvern, so here's the profile with the Wyvern. So in the Branded side, we've got Triple Branded Fusion with the Albaz that you have to play with that. The Tamias and the Mana. So he was actually playing four bricks, sorry, three bricks, DM, DMG, and Mana. And Tomias as well, which is, you know, it, it is a fusion card, so I understand why it's on this page. It is also kind of a DM Bricky card as well. So, um, I like this. This is interesting that he played three bricks, but once again, the 60 cards kind of makes it easier to digest. And once again, having three branded fusion, three inside, three ref, that's like nine amazing fusion spells going second or first, right? That's pretty sensational. So here we have two red eyes and the red eyes wyvern. So I mentioned on the previous page, we've got some bricks. Let's go count them all so far. Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, uh, two Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magic Attack, I would say that's four bricks. And then we've got uh, Albaz, Mana, adding to that, and then the three red eyes. I mean, this one's not really a brick, but it still kind of is. Media is a better one because it's less bricky, but there's already like close to 10 bricks in this deck, I want to say, which is a bit scary. But once again, I will say the 60 cards and the massive access to Illusion of Chaos would help a lot. But uh, let's let's keep going, shall we? We've got the next engine, Toy Box Engine. So that is one of the reasons why on page two here with the Illusion of Chaos Souls prep, there's so many, there's nine copies, right? Because he wants to see souls for the Toy Box Engine shenanigans. And if he doesn't, he wants to see one of these fusion spells for going second, right? So we've got the triple toy box, the one toy tank, and the one toy soldier. Now what's unique here is he's playing one silent magician and one trick clown. So what happened here is soldier is able to search when it's summoned, and you can go and get silent magician and then tribute like your rod for the silent magician summon, or you can go and get trick clown if you don't have rod, and you can normal summon trick clown, and then when trick clown leaves the field that summons back, and you can basically go into a link five, you can go into um, the five-headed Link 5 or Appalooza or anything. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, Derek was really cooking here. So we've got the going second cards as the other package here on this page. So there's Dark Ruler No More. At one, there's a one called by the grave. There's the triple Book of Eclipse, the triple Droplets, and the triple Super Polymerization. Wow, so many engines and ideas going on here. It's truly amazing. Let's move on to the next page. This is the final page. And this was one Ash Blossom. Inter just just one okay one ash blossom two ghost ogre triple evenly two lightning storm one imperm a truly an interesting number of going second cards wow what a build so i'll have a graphic of that soon the 60 card uh dark magician going second build and here is the extra deck 
Two Dragoon, one Dragon Knight, one Mud Dragon, and one Garura for Super Poly targets. There's also one Mysterion, which he can make, uh, I think, through Branded Fusion. Maybe even Super Poly as well. We've got the Albion or Branded Fusion cards here. The one Albion, the Branded, the one Lubellion, and the one Mirror Jade. Pretty standard for Branded Package stuff. We've got one IP, one Beat Cop, one Selene, one Appalooza, one Underworld Goddess, and one Boral Sword Dragon. There is a lot of links here, and IP doesn't really have a good... I guess this IP goes into Appaloosa using the, to the toy box engine though, that's pretty good. No dark or access code is still kind of weird to me, but like, yep, that's a thing. I don't think you need Beat Cop at all, I'm not sure what Beat Cop is in here for. I know it can protect Eternal Soul, but I just don't think it's worth the slot. Uh, I don't think Boral Sword's really that worth playing, but I guess in this deck there's a lot of Link fodder and material. I, I, the Underworld can be good, so that that's cool, that's cool. IP can also go in Underworld obviously, so that's really cool. Now we're on the side deck, so on the side deck we have Denko Sekka, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Duster, Dark Ruler, Terraforming, Triple Village to go with that, Triple Skill Drain, and one of each of these Floodgates, Soul Drain, Rivalry, and there can only be one. The interesting part is Sekka is a, Denko Sekka is a light, and Derek mentioned he actually can search it when he does Toy Box and Toy Soldier Summons, it searches a light. So if you haven't normaled yet, you can actually go get your side deck card, Denko Sekka, so even though it's a one-off in the side, you know, you've actually got... You know, uh, one, two, three, four, five copies of it, including itself. So that's kind of insane for a side deck card to come in at five. Um, so I thought that was really cool, actually. If you verse Labyrinth and you just find the Toy Box engine, you're like, okay, cool. And Magician Souls, of course. You're like, well, they're not playing because Denko second time. So that's kind of insane. Uh, the rest of the hand traps are cool. Just some, you know, adding to the Ghost Ogres and Ashes he had over here that were lacking in numbers. And there's some going second cards as well. One thing Derek mentioned is obviously people realize you are playing a going second build after game one. So in every game two, he apparently side decked out most of the going second cards and side decked in the Ash, the Ghost, the Terraform, and like all this page, this whole page here, these nine cards along with the Terraforming Ghost and Ash. He would just cut, uh, I'm guessing, you know, all of these board breaker going second cards for uh, those. And just Floodgate, going to Floodgate uh, Village, you know, going first, lock. So that's really cool. His opponents would make him play first. Then he'd be like, cool, uh, here's Village and deal with that. So, um, yeah, a really good call from Derek here on 60 card and basically smoke screening into a going first build. Derek also mentioned he got cross outs after the tournament saying he would have loved to play them to, you know, stop Ash Blossom. Um, so that's something you can also consider for your 60 card build if you want to play one yourself. All right, here we are with the list. I've just made it in Wadjo Omega so you can see absolutely every card. The engines aren't in order. The cards are just in more of a monster spell and then trap order just for those who wanted to see the list. And of course, we're going in and we're going to run some test hands. So um, stick around for that because we're going to see you know what we can do with the deck. Give it a whirl. Right, this opening end's interesting. We're probably not going to use anything outside of Insight. But one thing we can do first is scan for Ash. Now we are playing into Droll here, but we are playing around Ash a little bit. So with a hand like this, you're probably going to gonna go and get Magician Souls. And then you're probably just going to put the Trick Clown back. And hopefully you don't get Droll and Lock Birded, so then you can go Insight, sending the Wyvern, sorry, the Meteor in this case. I don't know, this hand's pretty boring, there's not a lot to say about this hand, this hand is definitely, like, if you're going second, obviously you could go Lightning Storm evenly, part of me before you do all this, and then you're pretty much good to cook from here. Not a lot to say about that hand, pretty typical ref hand, does make your plays quite linear, but that's cool. Okay, this hand has a bit more depth to it, probably gonna start with that preparation of rights, get ourselves Illusion of Chaos. Of course, I'm doing five card hands, but this is a going second build, but you know, I'm just gonna do what I can going first. Brennan Fusion can get us to Dragon Knight, so I'm thinking maybe we wanna go get Eternal Soul. But I mean, we've also got Tamias, so. Hmm. Tamias can make us Dragoon as well. Okay, we're gonna go for that, we're gonna give it a shot. Now, with a hand like this, we're probably putting back the Droplet, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna try and bait the Ash with the Rod Normal Summon. I'm not gonna chain, oh, that was meant to be Salvation slash Eternal Soul. Well, we're just gonna have to hope that circle hits. So we will, uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll start with 
Brand Fusion that's going to thin the deck. We're going to make Lubellion. We're going to need to discard here as well, which I did not consider. So I suppose our discard is going to have to be Illusion of Chaos, unfortunately. I think we're going to try to make the Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. And then we're going to be able to I'm going to need to Myas out. Why can't we fuse? Oh, including a spellcaster monster. Using monsters from hand on field, including a spellcaster monster. How is this card so bad? How is Tomias so bad? I can't believe. Okay, never mind. That combo did not work at all. How sad is that? Our own in archetype fusion cards freaking suck, dude. It's crazy. Okay, this is interesting. This is something I wanted to mention. So Derek mentioned, you know, people say oh, opening ref and toy box together is bad. Well, he wanted to mention that it's not. So let's see what he's talking about. Obviously, you make Dragoon. And you're just going to use your toy box. No, we're not going to negate it. We're going to use toy box. Set two monsters. We're going to set them both in the back row. But look, I, I believe that's it, though. You know, I, I believe that's all you do. But toy box does have that added effect. So you're passing turn with the Omni Negate and also... Um, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, send face down, you control the grave, destroy that monster. So, um, you know, it's something they have to try to play around, I suppose, or they need to out it, kind of, they don't really have to. It's also an Ash to co uh, combo this off, and also an evenly match if you're going second. Not the worst hand, not the best hand, but yeah, Toy Box definitely without Magician Souls, not as good. But, uh, let's see if we can get the Magician Souls Toy Box together. Uh, this is kind of, yeah, this, this gets there. This gets there. We can, we can give it a whirl. So normal summoning Toy Soldier will get us Toy Box. It's not as good though, because obviously we've used our normal summon now, but I mean, what can we do about that? Not a lot. Alright, we'll go get Magician Souls. Probably want to put back Dark Magician Girl here. Not the biggest fan of that being in the hand. I think we can safely Magician Souls and put that mana in the bin. Or Dark Magician Girl, doesn't really matter. Someone out the Souls. I'm gonna use that Toy Box to set the tank. And we'll set the Toy Soldier as well. A bit unfortunate that we had to normal the Toy Soldier, but you know, sometimes that's just how it is. And we could circle here, look at the top cards, and then, you know, manipulate the draw depending on. But I think it's better. You, you at least could say you search deeper if you do it this way. Oh, there's some good draws. There's some good draws. Alright, we're going to summon out both cards here. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. We're not going to be able to use Toy Soldier's effect now to search. Because we already used the Search Toy Box. So, losing a bit of value there, but that's okay. We have Drawn Into Insight and also the card you want to discard off Insight. So, that's not amazing either. But what we might do is summon out the... Vanilla Red Eyes by putting Dark Magician from the deck in the grave. Now we've got Media on the field. So now if we Insight, we're going to have to send a Vanilla Red Eyes. Then we do get Ref for next turn. In the meantime, we're just going to have to try to make the biggest board we can to not get OTK'd. We can go into Appaloosa here. Not the worst. What else could we do? IP. I don't think we care about Beat Cop. Uh, unfortunately, I think, I think Appalooza might just be the best play here. Yeah, I, I can't really see a better play than Appalooza. Could make a rank 4, and that's where I like, Baguska Pass there would- Baguska Pass would be insane there, no? Go Baguska Pass and then just freaking ref on the next turn? Actually, I think that's the play. You overlay these two with Baguska, and you just tell your opponent to get stuffed for a turn, and then you, you know, switch Baguska to attack and ref. Damn, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that in my build. Oh, it cracked. It cracked. Probably don't want a top deck, Dark Magician Girl. So we're setting Ref here. Pretty good. So on the opponent's turn, we're gonna be able to flip Eternal Soul, circle, banish a card. Appaloosa's got four monster negates, probably only three, because once they just beat into it. Uh, but then follow up turn, we can banish this, get a Ref. We've got a Ref in the hand. And any Soul Servant at this point is a draw two. Okay, so this is kind of my game plan for uh, activating Ref. You'll probably do something like dump Mon. I guess you dump DM if you had um, 
souls and stuff. If you had a, uh, sorry, circle and stuff, but we don't here, so we're just gonna do this. The reason you wanna summon mana here, there's a couple of reasons, we'll get into them soon. So we're gonna toy box, we said two. Uh, great, we've got the set cards. The souls, uh, mana will summon actually. Mana says if a spell cast, where is it? Your opponent activates a card effect that targets one spell cast, the monster you control, and no other cards. While this card's in hand or grave, special summon this card. So if they affect Veil or Imperm this, draw two. Uh, we just get to chain mana, so it's kind of broken. But in this case, you know, we much prefer they don't because mana and souls is only two cards versus this, which is three cards and a search. So we have a normal tier, so we can actually get Trick Clown and extend. Or we can get Silent Magician and have a Spell Negate. Both of which I think are good. I'm going to go with the Trick Clown and you're going to see why very soon. But right, let's go Trick Clown. Make IP Mascarena with the Trick Clown here. Quite good. I don't mind it at all. Go one, two, three, four. No. Can we go IP with these two cards? Trick Clown will summon itself back. Also, a thousand LP, but I think that's fine. And make Baguska. And honestly, that's that's all I've really got. Um, yeah, that's it. Sadly, if we could get to Appaloosa, that'd be a little bit better. I mean, this in theory can IP into Appaloosa, but it's not quite as good. You're at least ending on Baguska, telling your opponent to get stuffed, and then in the following turn, you're going to be able to Red Eyes Fusion and just win the game. So I I think that's cool. It's cool if you do happen to draw your stuff together or you draw into your refs later, like it's not entirely dead, you can kind of have a game plan anyway. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud here. Okay, I'm just gonna read a bunch of messages Derek sent me in regards to his thoughts on the deck and stuff like that, um, but I'll just have the deck list on the screen so you can look at that while I'm talking about it all. So he mentioned that while Soldier was the primary link climber of the toy box engine, he also thought about a rank 4 engine as well, so that's obviously an option you can do. Soldier is able to add Silent Magician or the Clown, which can also help with the rank 4 stuff if you don't want to normal summon your rod. Cartesia, he said, is also a great card you can add as well, opening up fusion plays and stuff too. So um, that binder he showed us before, this page here is a lot of stuff he was also considering playing, so considering that second Toy Soldier. I don't know why I was considering Giant here, I think there's a lot of other rank 4s you'd play before that. Baguska comes to mind. But yeah, these are a bunch of cards he was thinking about playing. I don't think you need Prisma anymore, but I can see stuff like uh, Crossout and Cartesia. Oh, this isn't Cartesia, my bad. This is um, Kurikara, which I also think is a very good card. But So Derek won at Waterford, Michigan. So he wants the street cred. It was at Jester's Gallery card shop. So he actually said whenever he was forced to go first, he assumed he was versing Tempai and he made Mysterion, the Dragon Crown fusion. Which, uh, I know it negates cards, it negates an effect and then it's like other monsters of the same type or something can't do anything about it. I don't know, something like that, but I thought it was interesting to mention. So yeah, this is the undefeated Derek, Dark Magician, 60 card, going second, Unga Bunga deck. So um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. The last thing I'll mention about Derek is he mentioned he would like to put the Sky Striker engine in perhaps, because Drones Kagari, Drones Charmer Link. Snake, Tempai, Selene, Abomination kind of stuff, Link Climbing, stuff like that's really good. Which look, I won't disagree, it's it's all quite strong. The Striker engine is really good and with the Toy Box engine could really pop off and make crazy big boards. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today. This is the Dark Magician going second, 60 card, Unga Bunga first place Derek build. You gotta love to see it. And uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments, because maybe this is how we're meant to build the deck, guys. Maybe we're just meant to play 60 cards so we brick less and we can play more gas. But yeah, I do really want a Dark Magician style fusion card that's on the level of ref, but you know, it's a bit of Hopium and Copium. But hey, have you seen those new freaking Blue Eyes cards? Oh my god, hopefully we get something similar in the Dark Magician department soon. But as you can tell, my voice is going. I've, I've got to go. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. It'll help me get better or at least feel better about it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.